You know, we get so many complaints about prosecutions and excessive fines for truancy and failure to attend school. It was one of, um, it was a surprise for me when I started here that the number of complaints that we get from parents and students who are caught up in this, you know, sort of Byzantine court system and experiencing really, really heavy fines for um, their children missing school. And while obviously there need to be some consequences for missing school, what, what we're seeing is an excessively punitive approach by school districts and um, justice courts and municipal courts around the state. I think we're finding that truancy is a very big piece of the school to prison pipeline in Texas, that the rate of referrals for truancy and for failure to attend, to attend school are exceedingly high and the money that's changing hands around the country that parents are paying into um, the court system is very, very high and those are you know facts that we're trying to nail down and develop litigation around. One fine for missing uh, up to 10 days of school can be up to $500 and then for each subsequent missed school day the parent can be fined an additional $500. So you see families who are struggling to, to pay their bills, to pay their rent, who are, are having to deal with fines upwards of several thousand dollars. Um, we are investigating several um, cases where uh, a great number of teenagers were sent to jail because their parents were actually too poor to pay for fines associated with their failure to attend school. Now, we're not denying that some of these kids have real issues and, and uh, there should be some consequences for their failure to attend school, but sending them to court and fining their parents to this degree and then ultimately sending them to jail is very unlikely to make them go back to school. And I think we need to realize that and come up with other solutions.